Ahoy hoy and welcome to the channel. I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, and today we are going to go over the dankest memes from dank memes from Site-19. Let's just get started. The Scarlet King after destroying our existence. Well, now what? Yeah, I've always wondered about any entity that wants to either destroy the world or destroy the universe or whatever when they live in them. I don't think the Scarlet King does, so it's got that going for it at least. But after it destroys existence, what happens after that? <laughs> I mean, it can't destroy all existence because it, is, it itself exists somewhere. But it can destroy our, reali our reality and possibly other realities. Possibly almost all other realities except for whichever one it exists in. Then again, it could destroy its own reality, too, I guess. Either way, what happens after <laughs> that? Almost went with what happens after, but no, that's already an SCP. What happens after that? SCP Universe exits. SCP writers. Oh, that's supposed to be exists. Man, there were a lot of spelling errors in the memes this time around. SCP writers. I see no god up here. Other than me. I. Yeah. I mean. In the SCP universe. There is just the, the writers. Who get to decide the way the world works. One way or the other. There's a. Uh, yeah. I mean that's how it is for all writers. If you write a story. You're the god of that story. You can make anything you wish to happen happen. Um, you hope that whatever you write is going to be interesting, but it's not necessarily going to be interesting. <laughs> it could just be like real life. Most of the time, not that interesting unless you uh, boil it down to just a few very, um, uh, a very, a very selective snippets. Like when they do, uh, when, when they try and teach history. But then they try and teach history, and they still do a poor job of boiling it down to the interesting snippets. Uh, it could be like the old History Channel, where they're like, World War II almost all the time, because World War II had a lot of interesting bits to it. There's a lot of stuff that never happened before. Same thing with World War I. Um, you know, back when they actually had history on the History Channel. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, humanoid info hazard. Yeah, the tags. I just I never thought about it like this, but this is a good point. That so this is supposed to be about an article. I don't remember the number. Ah oh, man, it's been a while. I don't remember the number for this one anymore. Is it two nine three five? Oh, yeah, and if I get it right, I'm gonna get kidnapped. No, um, that's it's not real, people. Um, yeah. So this is CP is interesting because you're not supposed to. <clears throat> talk about it in any kind of definitive way and the pictographs are supposed to be um the way of describing it to the audience uh but in universe well i mean the tags aren't technically in universe but they certainly for a lot of people can seem that way so yeah the tags kind of ruin the immersion on that article quite a lot i never thought about it like that shouldn't that be an uh, esoteric class? No, wait. I think it. I think it's got a regular class. Ah, oh, man, it's been a while. <laughs> you never worry about the feelings of your anomalies, jailers. You just put them in a jail and throw away the key. The cactus man. Leave it all behind. Telepathic spider. Perfect porcelain doll. Press X to bear. Yet another murder monster. <laughs> the SCP Foundation does, in a lot of cases, <laughs> do their best to make sure that the. Uh, SCPs are taken care of and comfortable, even though they are almost invariable, not invariably, but they are quite often uh, very deadly monsters. Uh, it's a, that is a fair point to make that the, uh, the serpent's hand is, serpent's hand is, is built to go up against a very particular kind of foundation that doesn't really show up as much anymore. So a little bit like how the GOC is a foil in the what if the SCP Foundation destroyed everything or was slightly more evil <laughs> and care let's say careless, not evil. It's hard to define the GOC as evil. They do a lot of evil. Th you know what? They're evil. It's fine. But the uh, Serpent's Hand is supposed to be the good guys there. What if the SCP Foundation was good? Uh, and apparently that means they're a library. Okay. 
They're calling it a GOI. But when did I say I was interested? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a good point. You got to create a group of it. I mean, it's supposed to be an interest group of interest in universe, but it is interesting. Uh, <laughs> forgive the uh, the word usage there, but it is kind of interesting how n most GOIs are just kind of boring. Um, I'm not a huge fan of, I mean, the GOC, like there's some of them are boring, but useful. Like the GOC is my best example of that. A lot of them are just, just boring. I'm not going to name any because a lot of people have a lot of pet SCP, uh, GOIs. Uh, and I'm sure that part of the problem is, is that I just haven't read the interesting stuff. Right. But for me anyway, they seem quite, quite boring and yet they're called groups of interest. How is that fair? Davites rewrite history with one of their many anomalies. History teachers. Well, see, the thing is, though, once you rewrite history, like, the whole of everything is rewritten. So the history teachers are fine. Well, I mean, they're not fine. They're history teachers. But uh, the history that they're teaching is fine. I mean, when I first click on an article, and it has a slightly different appearance than this is again. This is, again, more English and spelling errors. I don't know what's up with that. There was a lot in some of the... I mean, I reviewed a few before I uh, picked out the ones that I was going to use for the video here. There were a lot more. Anyway, what is this place? Yeah, um, it is hard on a lot of people to understand uh, what's going on in this weird, uh, weird format. I mean, it should be? <laughs> like... The SCP format is, uh, it's always been, it's been changing for a while. And I don't mean in the sense of like a whole other, um, whole other themes. I'm talking about like just in the sense of the, uh, the way the format is set up. Cause you know, first there was, first there was Euclid. That was it. Adding anything, Keter or safe. That's a change in the format. And then there was Thaumiel, which came later, which is another change in the format. And then there was, you know, uncontained or uh explained or um um oh, what's the one for terminated uh brains not want to work today but um you know the ones that are yeah, i mean maybe it's terminated i don't know but the ones for the ones that are no longer a threat at all they're just gone they're no a former and uh, something something i don't remember what they are but it's not important i could spend all day trying to think of what the answer to that is or i could just move on <laughs> but the ones that are, you know, dead or deactivated. Uh, and then there's, uh, I mean, you keep going, keep going and keep going and keep going. And, and eventually you get to today where there's whole theme changes and uh, the, uh, was it the RCS system and then a whole bunch of other stuff or me who seems to be the only one who's doing this, but it removes object classes entirely formats change that's the world we live in and i know this person isn't actually complaining about it they're kind of pointing out that like it is just a, a little bit uh what's the word a little bit jarring at first but this is the point of everything existing in its own canon and that's the better way of saying uh that there is no instead of there is no canon every every single article and tale exists in its own canonical universe it's its own canon um except except where otherwise noted where there are actual canons um but yeah i, I think yeah this is this is this is an interest I, I like this because it's an interesting conversation starter i received just a few tests you receive pardon from all past crimes no matter how severe i don't i don't think that's true i don't think that trade i don't think that trade's actually happening I, I, I think I think that trade offer is, is invalid. I think you're I think you're lying to me, man. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button and then the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And perhaps more importantly, share it with your friends that you think might be into this sort of thing. It's very important. And hit the like button and leave a comment. And then if you really enjoyed the content, 
head on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Dr. J Redacted and Sinjariki, who have both pledged at $100. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here. And I will see you all again on Thursday.